Why, hello? Go, Andre's attorney, you crazy man. This is just, yeah, this is just for all. There we go. Always freaks me out when it's a, uh, no picture. What do they mean? <laughs> dunk, 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 dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. Sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? For me, it was like five days ago. I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> exactly, he told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But, Ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to that Ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. When I got there, I went ahead and took off the costume. Which means... The Ringmaster could have taken his costume when I was looking for Lake Max. Stop throwing- how many cars do you have? It's a fabulously possible possibility. Haha, <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the Ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? You know, I was wondering, why is it... Uh, Ace Attorney. No, I get that one. Uh, Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations out of this collection. There's seven games, right? Isn't Trials and Tribulations like a later game in the series? I might be wrong. Let me see. I was thinking about this. Um, Phoenix Wright. Video game order, I guess? Or really, I want to go with really, uh, release order. No, no, never mind. These are the first three games. So 2001, Ace Attorney, 2002 was Justice for All, 2004, Trials and Tribulations, 2007, Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, 2009, Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations 2 in 2011, 2012 had um, Finish Right Ace Attorney Trilogy, and Professor Layton versus Finish Right Ace Attorney, 2013 was Finish Right Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, 2015 was a great Ace Attorney, The Adventure of Ryosuke Narado. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spade of Justice, 2016. 2017, The Great Ace Attorney 2, The Resolve of Ryosuke uh, Narado. Um, 2019 was Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy HD. And then 2021, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. The one coming out this year? Or came out this year? On the 3DS? It was released on the 3DS in 2015. Android and iOS follow, uh, versions following um, August 2017. But it'll be released in English in 2021. On what platforms? Anyway. Um, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all if all they found was that like, the crime scene was on my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? And your flower, dude. Wow, Max never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I never quite sure. I was never quite sure what to do when I grew up. Magician or president? You have no idea how hard it is to make that a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. <coughs> I should have a black eye. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well, I will now call my next witness. So I said three and a half hours. We had two and a half hours until uh, Saki. 
Now we have two hours and ten minutes. Well, this is min maximum time, two hours and ten minutes. Jeffrey said he'll be 7.40 at the latest. A petty fool clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Well, Mr. Lawrence Curls, please take the stand. Why don't you just call him Pitiful Clown? Oh, so sad, dude. Witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Stop touching that. Do it again, I dare you. No? In the West Clown of Delphia. That's uh, name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the um, court why he's speaking autobiographical? Autobiographical gibberish. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke to be suited for this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice in some comedy club. Easy to see your occupation. Please state your name for this court. Oh yeah, maybe that's this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. Aha, 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 aha. Alright, how about this? Have you met my, um, partologist? You see more butts. How was that one? Aha, 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 Couple of clowns grew up no good, started because of, okay. Your name. Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. When is the scene at around 10.15pm, the day of the murder? Correct? Yes, yes it is. Very well. Mr. Curls, will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a rest, um, Rastafarian. Without the humor, please. Okay. Poor Mo can't be in his normal stooge's self in court. What you witnessed. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh in ten years. No matter what I say, all I get is return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Because no one ever laughs, mind you, I've taken a laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make most people laugh and almost useless. But I keep trying. I even try to come up with the jokes just for today. This atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try making everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? Um, aren't you, uh, we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? We, li we will listen to, to, um, to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. Really? Really? You really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you, I can't wait. For Gumshoe. Now that's settled, shall we begin once again with testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. Giggle, giggle. The night of the murder. After practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I uh, glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. Didn't you tell us that you, you are woken up by the clonk? Very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. How do you? Of course you can. There is no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off kilter? Well, like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Ha, 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 ha. Must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. You gotta find some kind of contradiction in this testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, I'm afraid that if you push the witness too far, it would be a disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you sincerely hope you're not going to engage in pointless stabber uh rattling. I understand, Your Honor. You can't if you call us this clown just straight from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm the one for the corner jokes. So we can impress you, right? Often. Because we'll lose HP. Yeah, you did not go look out the window, though. You were sleeping, you were woken up by the clock. Happened to glance out the window? 
You could say that, you could also say it. Peaked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls. Oh. I guess cinnamons aren't allowed either. What should I do? Press him further. Why did you look out the window at night? Why did you look at your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out the windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday. Once I had talked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. Incredibly loud. Kind of like a giant thump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I had to mention that thump, didn't I? Ow. Something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo was, uh, to revise his testimony. Very well. Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. Start turning the tables in our favor. I'm going to look outside. Too far away, though. Very nice cloak. Are you dumb? So you, you saw the room monster get clonked over the head? Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. Who does enjoy completely random nonsense um, sequitur? What would you say um, the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon was a found in the murder scene, right? Not what I meant. You um, did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. Huh? No. Did you or did you not see the crime of the murder committed that night? Not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. Better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown, because if you don't, uh, you know what they're waiting for you is this penalty. Hold. I'm gonna press him. The sound he woke up to was the monk. Clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime. Of course I do. A reason to make my claim? Told you would be telling us a great reason. Of course I will. The reason is the witness very own testimony. What is the meaning of this mystery, right? Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. It'd say that. However, Mo just stated that following under the oath. Kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. Mo did be believed when he said he looked out the window upon hearing a sound. There was no way he could have uh, seen Max clonk anyone. And did somebody to a crack clown unit. Mr. Curls, how did you respond to uh, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. The clowns promptly escaped from the maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C-Team theme to anger the court? I don't know. I'm just stalling, stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses always seem to have a selected memory. You have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup and to find the truth. Well, um... Get back from your jog? Well, it's pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much. When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. Prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Von Von Karma. Tampering with witnesses again. So now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clock the ringmaster. Yes, when I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep, he was on the permit. Okay. Mr. Curls. Your Honor. Now when it's the actual crime, however, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Yes, exactly. Remaster was slumped over when I saw someone's silhouette next to him. And please testify to the silhouette you saw. Get the truth. And I even catch a hint of your joke from you? I'll put you in a holding cell until you learn court adequate. Got it? Got it. A bit far away, but the shadow could only have been blown to Max. No doubting it. At least that's the soul is up to the uppity symbols. His silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there. His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. The cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. I'm not a presser now, because I know I'm going with this one. It would seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. The clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever, this should uh, finally be enough, right? 
outside some testimony, but Nash related the crime scene that night. He said he wasn't there. We have to believe that. Alright, Mr. Ray, commence your cross-examination. Don't you think that you are going a little overboard with how explicit you're being? That shadow belonged to Max is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers' life is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolute certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something that serious as this. So the way I saw was Max, I'm convinced of that. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions this time. What makes you so sure that you saw Max at night? How about his symbols? None of the hat was found in the crime. Crew said the same thing. When it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. Or if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them. I thought of that myself. Just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. Hmm? You sure of that? Just a silly little boy. He threw his entire case head along into a trap. You sure that it was what you saw that night? Exactly what I said I saw, uh, is exactly what I saw. Got eyes like a hawk. Um, don't birds have terrible night vision? Not all, that's not all I saw. You were able to see the kind of stuff in your window? There was a light near the scene of the crime. Any moment with decent eyesight should have been, uh, able to see that much. If you asked Mo, what is your eyesight like? See like a hawk out of my left eye, and eagle out of my right eye. I could say his eyesight is perfect 2020. Must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. The more I look into the matter, the more suspicious it comes. Hey, you asked me what my eyesight was like, not what it actually was. Now go back. You didn't actually see what the criminal was holding? That's correct. I've been curious to know what caused the loud noise. Must have been something incredibly loud and um, hard. Too that they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. I know that one object, at least it says so in the autopsy report. Trollo's testimony that now mows, it really seems like Max is the killer. I think you gotta find a contradiction in this. They're gonna be enough for what I have to prove that most saw someone other than Max that night. Only thing that will help, I've gotta do it. I mean, only the stinking uh, hat was there. The crime scene. That doesn't really mean much. I'm gonna prove somebody else was there. Say so all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so, the silk hat and the cloak, right? No. Everyone knows Maximum Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols. Yeah, everyone's get together, all together now. Silk hat, cloak, and white roses. What the? Who cares if he knew that three were uh, three or not? Who cares if they knew that it was three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols, he just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? 
Do you like pie? I love pie. 3.1415. Okay. Sounds full. Yours to respond with the whole truth. No fractions. Order, order. No, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses in the person that saw. Objection! The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. Objection! With the witness just said, he was able to see a silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses were right or white. There's no way he could have missed them. He could have missed them. The roses must have fallen off and then assaulted the victim. If that was the case, and the police would have found them now near them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material for the facts of the case? He would not, he's just toying with the squirt. Got her on the ropes now. Seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I can mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy get up and his nose sticks up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing that such a snobby three piece get up? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no, no, right, no white roses on the person he saw. Absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Mm, no, what am I supposed to think? I'm not supposed to disregard the pointless. Uh, but this? Judge forgot the roses, thinking about his other testimony. The witness has stated without doubt that he saw Maximum Galactica. Nothing else matters, let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. Seems that unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. New conclusion? I'm 9% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? There are no contradictions in this next statement. I'm prepared to issue a ruling. Ruling, Nick, this is your last chance. So the web part two. Out of my mind, that was the. There were no white roses that night. Whenever all the other symbols were there, I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There is no way I could forget seeing that decorations on it, wearing the entire time that he was on the scene. Mr. Wright, you got one last chance at this. One chance. I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against the witness. You are going to prove to me there is a contradiction with this Mr. Curl statement. Better at least share um, shred of evidence to back up your accusations. One chance is all I need, Your Honor. Still web part two. I will save it. <laughs> I got no idea. There were no white roses that night. Never all the other symbols were there, I'm sure, equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. Is this not silk? No, it's silk. No decorations on it, though. Unless you mean the, uh... The feather. I can press. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I will load.
Did Trillo give us any information? I don't believe so. Besides a small seasoning? No, that was um, Gumshoe. It's in the core record, I gotcha. Is it just the hack because you never took it off? Yeah, I just presented at the wrong spot, I guess. What did I use something different? Wouldn't happen to be the stuff that you saw that night, would it? Yup, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. The one question on your mind? Nickly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? It's Von Karma. Where exactly was the soul cat found? But she always asked these questions, it was found in the crime scene. Look at the crime scene. That means cat fell out of the crime fell off of the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it and the entire time he was on the side before he was out the scene. No, that's not true. Order, 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 Mr. Curls. Yes, Your Honor. What's the meaning of all this? You were old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your test your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? I think yes, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? How did you go and insult my eyesight or my memory? They're both great. Seriously, why? Is it because you were sitting above me in court? No matter how old I am, I would be younger than you, why? Huh? All these trials is outbursts, Mr. Curdles. Who do you th uh, think you are? I saw him, I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if I, he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb still cat. Telling me the truth, he turned into a bratty little kid. It's pretty full, isn't it? Left the scene wearing the dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. What's the matter, Nick? Something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? Yeah, he went. What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Mr. Venus, right? The better than the witness, Your Honor. The witness's testimony is so full of holes, Ms. Vaughn and Karma's pr protest is useless. Grr. You got a point? Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Not right with you, little guy. Talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? And it's, true, it's obvious, you just turned around and walked away. What I expected you to say? You're sure this is how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where this is going. The only reason I would be sure do love to harp on the smallest things. And it proved the counter his story on how the criminal is the scene. Look at this picture. Problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints. In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Aye, aye, aye. So Moe's healthy hound of the criminal escape the scene. Um, he, uh, Your Honor. This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. We move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. Clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came in court with. Wait a second. I can't just remember everything I said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. I'm tired of you listening to, uh, of listening to you anyways. Give you the real deal? This time I swear. I don't know why, but I get a feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. Two large curls? Yes. Testimony you provided up until now has been false. Has been false, I haven't lied. I just, just... Just what? Just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Actually, since Von Karma and her whip told me I don't know where they this all. Order, order. I will have order. Francesca von Karma, how could you? Your Honor? You had heard the truth from this witness? You would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. It's enough out of you? I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear their truth about what you say, um, say you saw, Mr. Curls. You're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. I'm trying to waste our time with your idiotic dribble.
Now it's time for our next segment, Mel Knows. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the Green Master was down and Master standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw he... This is the truth now, get ready for it. He flew, he jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared to the darkness. That's why there were no footprints, blind people don't leave footprints. Are you telling me whatever the item was, was wearing the outfit? There were no footprints, blind people don't leave footprints. There was no person at all, it was just there, they're on the roof, controlling the wires. I told you it wasn't funny, do you believe me now? <laughs> well, that was, um, how do you put it in the words? My Timelingo had to go as a world-class magician. Bomb, but to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses. Why won't you believe me, especially since this is the best part of the story? Hmm? To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of their flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, testimony Mr. Wright? Roger playing tricks? He's telling the truth. Said what he said was so strange, but I don't think he made it up. Which means that he's telling the truth. That's what I think. Isn't that exactly what use magic? Yikes, you're right. Only a foolishly looking fool could have been fooled by such a foolish, foolish, foolish dream. Don't be ridiculous, magic does not exist. I hope that will let you in on thinking. Uh let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. Criminal disappeared into the sky. I love to believe that. I just can't wrap my head around how that would actually happen. You imbecile. I disregard the need for proof, Ms. Von Karma's case is sound. However, the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. Undisputed fact that the criminal left no full profits at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh, here. I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. Is Roy Romero. Hey, sweeties, what in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. He said the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Man, I can't believe I'm asking you, but did you even fly that night, did you? I didn't know mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can fly whenever I please, it's not that easy. What's that so effortless if you on stage? It's not that simple, I'm actually not flying on stage. Use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. You know I broke the first rule, the cardio rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you bring magicians creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. I think what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying from the court tomorrow. Great idea, let's do our best and catch the sucker. He's doing it. Number 29th, 3.03 p.m. Right and kill with all offices. Um, Nick. What is it? I got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their definition the tricks, right? I can never figure out how the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do know them, they do it, so you can't guess the trick. But, but the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see. Looks like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated them. Can move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? They're kind of like this? What? How did you do that? You're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic and I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of the murder. You take, all the fun, you take all the fun of the magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Are you sure you're functional? Barely. I'd be showing a bit of wear, but I'd try to take good care of this thing. You love to show that thing off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me? She's right, I whip it out of the drop of the hat. Alright. I know where we're going. We're going back to the scene of the crime. 
We talked to Maximilian first. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. I'll be papag, papag. A little while ago, some people from local TV station came by. Some afraid magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really, what kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactic with a great prison escape. It would be aired li air live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Will would be sure, um, surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't give me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I should have to no choice, it would be a contractual obligation, that's show business. I got nothing to present to you right now, I don't think. Not the murder. Not the crime, you didn't happen to fly off in this guy, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. Time of the murder, I was sitting in the master's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not something I can do at will. I just don't know why they... Did you not see your outfit get taken? Am I dying here? I don't care what this dude clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick before I'm getting flying? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and Jeep Imitation Magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. Thinking about this in court today, I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous, a great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But I won all the world stage. I won on the world stage. I won the international grand prix. National grand prix. I should always look to perform it on the world stage. So, like, he, his words are inside the ringmaster's office. But the performance of the circuits are completely and utterly devout of ambition. It's not like Maximilian Galactica was conjured up. By the old man, the old man has then removed his other existence from this planet. He just he did he cloned himself and he did the uh, main boy. Something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it was a bit boring. Sorry to make you tell it again. You must not affirm me, I'm really sick of telling this story. What can you do? I'm Maximilian Galantica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila, here, take a look at this. It's happened to have a picture for me, uh, a great picture of me. Poggy, pog, 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 pog. Look at the fabulous stage. This is the first stage that I ever flew one. I flew right over the audience. The crowd ruptured with applause. Time I thought to myself I could die right then and die a happy man. Never forget how I felt that night, the emotions, the calm. Claim. Well. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who was a performer should get to experience that feeling. So I wish I could explain that to the people in the circus. Incredible Max have won a trophy too. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? And how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail. Trophy, people, lights, card statue, and... That's it. Flower, hat, cape. Sign up for you. Never mind. Uh, goodbye. Very big circus. You're that's only two people are arguing. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, uh, wait. What you want? Let's just give this shot already. Alright, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. 
trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't gonna work. You enjoy saying dumb things, you're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello, to you too, Trillo. What are you doing? Can't you see you weren't a secret crash training horse? Sorry? Secret crash training? Whoa. Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we are trying this thing in a round for a new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. See, for uh, so even they are surprised by your idea, I told you. You're not the only ones, you know, you're even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip on the basics, that's just a piece of practice. You think so? I almost forgot, I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, oh, there it is. Now this is that I've got this ring, it's time to take one more shot of Regina. <clears throat> Sorry, Benjamin. Sorry, Benjamin. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. Wanna talk about what we saw, right? Yeah. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Uh oh, yeah, that's right. But then he said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy, gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? Well, oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. This is netting up here. I wonder who they really saw. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her, that's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. What if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you just go check out the tent? Ha! You wouldn't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? <laughs> waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you wouldn't know that waiting is such a sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I, I do that. Maya, she's a red looking such a red tomato. Ventriloquism. How's the new routine working out? You two just take a chill pill already as our, our routine's a secret. I'm gonna take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. Sounds incredible. Well, let's make one thing clear. We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? That's Galactica. Formers should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Really, you seem to really be fired up about all this. Mr. Real and Daddy isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're all, you're right. Mark my words, I and Trulu quest to win the ground pricks. You're the man now, doll. Row, row, row your boat. We'll be the key to the glorious victory. Um, not to rain in your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? And you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up, you gotta be a part of this too. See ya, boys. I'm muted. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. This thing that the old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks like, um, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francesca really touched you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she would be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're gonna get me to back by a woman with a whip, no way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. Every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's well wounded. It will wound him. I'll put wind him up pretty tight. Sorry. Directly above us as we speak. Huh? Is that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and speared into the sky. That's what happened. It means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Got a window up there. Acrobat's got his room up there on the third floor. It seems pretty soon Ms. Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. They don't get any ideas of going up to the Acrobat's room, got a pal? Shippers for Francesca Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Hmm. 
No, he's not here. If he was here, you wouldn't have been able to tell even before he stepped into his room. Sure, you would have heard him laughing away. Aha, 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 aha. What do you think he is laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up some new jokes. Hmm, I must really love his work. Nothing new in here, it seems like, so I'm get out of here. Very big circus, big top. Oh, where's Regina? I don't know, but if she's well with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Hurry up and get out of here. Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 I'm just I'm allergic to the wild tigers. <clears throat> Max and the ringmaster had this, their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and walked outside. Why'd he do it anyway? Was it really that cold or something? Nothing <clears throat> new off that one? Alright. I don't think there's anything new here. She got a white paper sticking out of the coat pocket. I'm just gonna rummage through people's coats. We went through this already. Can't take it at all, so. Just take it, forehead. Alright, to the cafeteria. Move. Cafeteria. Ah, right. Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. The ice is in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is, riddle time. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of mental destruction. Buzz, wrong, try again. Okay, what do you think, really? Um, aha, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they are the cafeteria. Exactly, it's an incredibly sad place, the cafe. I did it. What's going on? Being too nice. It has been a real crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was gonna go so I didn't think it was gonna be so tough. Tough. Yeah, it was a tough crowd, that's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd the morning I had to smash watermelons. Mm. Told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. Even used the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke? Exactly, how can you not laugh at something in comedy like that? Are you 100% sure you saw me on about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear, the creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying per se, but it was more like floating. So the wet of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psychologue, but he must be telling the truth. Friend, all about that. I'm gonna guess what's your face left. I'm gonna go use the restroom, so we're gonna go just back here. We can go inside. We must be missing something. Maybe a uh, examination somewhere. Oh, he's gone. I want to present it. Sorry, you don't hit RB there. You better go present first. Aha, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too. Huh? You seen it in those well? We know when they say that Maximilian Galactica really gets around. Aha, 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 aha. He? Oh yeah, he didn't just show me that picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bust too, like, let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's the picture, I think. He made us worship it every day, he made us bow to his greatness. He got a big bust. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust, not that I'm into that sort of thing. This bus should be on that small table over there. Something over there. Really? 
Oh yeah, hmm, where was it? I say it was about five days ago all of a sudden. The bus disappeared. Disappeared. If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just, said, Max, just had, Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm? Hey, that thing's really cool. Nick, Nick, I want something to make a bus out of me. Sure, as long as I'm not the one paying for it. Aww. Max G bus added to the court record. It was a single bus that was wearing the outfit. Anything else that changed about this place? Nope, nothing changed that I can see. Wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he's setting up a really bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. We still haven't met the acrobat. As the monkey. Bunny the monkey. But uh, quiet mo is a good mode in me in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that could have changed, huh? Well, there is this one tiny tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us. Well, on the morning of the crime over at the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted from the front and center. It's a paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes. It says, to the murderer. The murderer? Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yeah, the ringmaster was killed the night after the paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Um, posted the cafeteria on the day of the crime, the torrent states to the murderer. Nick, I think we better follow up on this important lead. Not you. Move. Ringmaster's room. Examine. You. No, nothing changed yet. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom.